Hey guys, it's Libby, aka Libby, aka Libby the developer, and I am back. Yes, y'all know I try and pump all these videos. So yes, I'm in the same area of my home wearing the same shirt because I'm trying to get this knowledge out to y'all. So today, what are we talking about? A huge discussion that happens in my comment section is whether or not you should go to a boot camp or teach yourself how to code. College is barely ever in the mix, but I sometimes get those questions about like, you know, does it make sense to go to college or does it make sense to go to boot camp? And then for some people, does it make sense to be self-taught? And so here I am today to talk about all of those. So here we go. So I went to college, um, I dropped out of college. I'm a very proud dropout, <laughs> college dropout, <laughs> making more than most people who graduated. Anyway, here we go. Um, so I can give you guys the kind of rundown behind that. If you're in high school trying to decide what to do with your life, or even if you're like a grown adult trying to figure out things. What, and I have to say, this is my opinion and this is only from my perspective. So, what college brought for me was a sense of freedom um, from a cultural perspective. I stayed on campus. It was a ton of fun. I met a ton of different people. I networked. Um, I really got a sense of like who I was as an adult. Um, you know, coming from high school, living with my parents, living on campus with college. That's what college really did for me. Y'all will see that this section of the video is very short because that's about all that college did for me. Um, I went to my classes and things were fine, but I didn't go long enough to actually get into like my actual studies classes, if that makes sense. Like the first two years of college, you're just learning your basics. And so I just basically went for that time period. So yeah, I learned geography and biology and like shit that just didn't even matter to what I want to do, which was like marketing and business. And so um, that that's what college was for me. It was a great fun time in my life. Education wise, I mean, I learned, but it was like nothing that I really needed for life. I didn't really learn any life skills. Um, it was just a ton of fun. That was college for me, fun. So now let's really talk about boot camp versus self-taught and the difference. And so a lot of people say that, you know, just go the self-taught route because you can save your $10,000 and go this way. And that is a wonderful option. So I'm here to get into sort of the nitty gritty um, with, you know, kind of the pros of going to a boot camp versus going the self-taught route. Also, before we leave the college conversation, one thing that I think is important to know is that if you get your degree in computer science, you're going to be more so learning conceptually what programming is and not technically what programming is, is what I hear from computer science graduates. And what I mean is that they'll understand the general idea of what coding is and what programming is and what algorithms are, but they don't really get down to the nitty gritty just coding. And so you have these people entering, you have graduates entering into the job market that understand the concept of programming, but not the nitty gritty of the programming. And there's pros and cons to that. Graduates, um, CS graduates typically, you know, they have great knowledge when it comes to, like I said, algorithm, algorithms and when it comes to like, like data structures and things like that, um, concepts like this, like if you're in programming, you know what I'm talking about, but they understand like the overarching like umbrella idea of everything, which is really, really great because when you go to a coding boot camp, you don't really get that. You get the nitty gritty down to the down to the gristle, just coding, just quick and dirty way to do it. Um, but if you're looking for more of the conceptual, then that's a, a great route to go. The college route is a great route to go. Um, but I have heard that 
a lot of times or sometimes with the CS students that they do struggle when it comes to the coding piece. So, you know, they don't really teach them much how to code. So that's one thing to take into consideration. I did not go that route, so I cannot tell you from experience. I can only tell you from what I've heard people say. So self-taught versus boot camp. The reason why I chose to go to a boot camp versus just teaching myself, um, I wrote notes down. I'm being awkward again. Sorry, y'all. Um, but here's the reason why. The reason why I chose to go to a boot camp. So <laughs> I keep repeating myself. Um, so anyway, um, I like the idea that I would have structured learning, that I had an actual lesson plan to go by. Had I went the self-taught route, I would have been all over the place, not really knowing where to go, where to learn, uh, not really understanding how to take myself from A to Z. Um, and this is just me personally. Some people do that and it works for them. But me personally, I really like the idea of having a curriculum um, to go by, having specific modules that built upon each other and that have been tested and proven time over time with their previous students. So I really like the idea that you had structured modules um, to learn from. I also like the idea that it put me in a position where I cannot fall off. Like most people, it's very easy to start something and just completely fall off from it. If you've invested yourself into something, then you're more likely to finish it. It's the same with like, I don't know, working out, right? It's harder to work out at home and easier to like, if, if you pay for a gym membership, then you feel more invested in actually working out because you've invested your money into it and so then you feel like okay i actually want to work out now and so it's kind of like that idea of if i'm investing in something now i have to do it like i'm stuck i have no choice but to do this thing and so for me and my personality type i needed something as strict as that for me to say okay i'm in this i've paid for this so i don't have a choice but to finish it so i needed that for myself but if you're the type of person that you can like start something and finish it without any structure and no like accountability at all then self-taught yeah that would totally work for you but i know for me and probably for most people that's not really the case um, also, the access to their online resources, the Learn Co. Um, again, tried and true modules and lesson plans that have worked time and time again. Um, also, the idea of having access to one-on-one -on -one help. Programming is just hard, especially in the beginning. So I like that I had a teacher that I can, you know, we had our classes every day, but also I could say, hey, I really need a one-on-one -on -one because I'm struggling with this specific topic and to have that person come in and to actually be able to help me. Someone that is a professional with programming that can actually sit down with me, look me in my eye and actually teach me. Also, I want to give a caveat that I can only speak to the in-person program. I'm sure the online program is similar. You know, you can ask your instructor for one-on-one -on -one time. So I'm pretty sure there's like a similar kind of structure there, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, also just the cultural piece. I love like going in in the morning in the big, beautiful building and having my nice artisan cup of coffee and coating. And it just felt really cool. It felt really nice. And I wanted to be there. I looked forward to being there. I looked forward to seeing my friends there. Um, having that again, it's like a, an accountability measure. Um, I like the idea of learning in person. Learning online for someone like me is also very difficult. So learning in person for me helped out a lot when it came to like retaining the information that I actually learned. And then also being able to like meet in small groups, right? Like I had my cohort and we would split off into different projects and to have their help to build something like, you know, each one teach one. And when you have a group of people working on one thing, one person may be stronger in something that I'm not as strong in. And so I learn from that person. Um, you know, just having the support of, you know, the faculty and the staff. And again, my cohort, every Friday we have Feelings Friday and we would sit in a circle and we would talk about our feelings, literally. Sometimes we would cry, you know, it was a very hard program, but you had the support of people just pushing you through. I remember one time when I had failed one of my um, my tests and I just like ran out crying. You know, I had the support of the people there to like help me through that and like 
push me to continue on with this programming thing. I know for a fact I would not have been able to continue that just by myself. Um, also, when it comes to career services, you have access to all of their partnerships. You have access to um, mock technical interviews and mock interviews you get an actual like career services representative to help you out with um your resume and things like that one of the biggest thing for me is that it built credibility to actually be able to show an employer hey here's my certification that i've spent I think it's like 700 hours. I've spent 700 hours on coding. Here's my certification for that. Here's the program that I'm in. Most people understand coding boot camps and things like that. So they they understand that if she was able to graduate from such a rigorous program, then I want her at this company. And so that's actually why a lot of times you've seen a lot of these companies, these tech companies, even the larger ones like Facebook and Google say that they don't require a degree anymore. It's because if you're able to learn something like this by yourself, then you know, you'd know you be a great employee for them. Um, you know, the program that provided that extra push for me, it helped with my portfolio. I have robust, um, web apps that I can showcase in my portfolio that I built out within a team. Most of them, one of them I did completely by myself, but the help of building out my portfolio. Um, also that guarantee that they're, they guarantee that you're going to get a job or your money back. So I felt like, what do I have to lose? If I join the program and I don't get a job, I basically have a free education. So for me, just having that money back guarantee is what really, um, Put the nail in the head for me um yeah so like i spoke about earlier you know you don't really know as much as far as like algorithms and things like that so that's something that you'll have to probably learn on the side a lot of people go to the boot camp and then they'll like take online small online courses to like get more knowledge about that but i really like the idea of just quick and dirty getting into programming and just coding you know i don't care about that other shit. i don't care about the concepts I don't care about <laughs> I don't care about learning how to do a for loop for you know an entire semester. Just tell me how to do it. Like that's just how I am in life. Like quick and dirty. Let me just get it done. How how do you, you know when if I get like a piece of furniture from IKEA, I'm not gonna sit there and read the instructions. I'm quick and dirty. Let me just get in it, fail as fast as I can and figure it out. Um, I did hear I said the for loop comment because I did hear that you know they teach. An entire semester on like four loops or like an entire chapter on four loops you know and we learn four loops in a day like you know so um that's that's just that just speaks to like you know how fast paced the program is and just the difference between like understanding concepts versus just like getting in there and coding um so yeah um I like the idea that entering into the job market, I felt very comfortable with like saying that I had the backing from this program, the backing that I graduated from the number one coding boot camp in the country. Like to be able to say that, you know, the number one boot camp in the country, I graduated from that. Just the credibility that came from that when it came to employers was really helpful. So that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my links down below where you can submit a question for my next Q&A. You can um, book a tarot reading or you can book me to help you build out solutions to your coding problems or book me to tutor you. So thank you guys so much. Bye.